need all the kids to come up here and I have some helpers. You can sit down here for a little bit. I've got on like a backpack. Up there? All right. I have the mom bag right here. I've got my mom bag, but I had a little trouble with the mom bag today because what I was going to put in for my illustration wasn't fitting very well. But we did, we did our best, and, and this is what we came up with. So we'll just leave the mom bag right there for now. But what I want to talk to you about is how many of you have ever heard somebody say, you know what, I feel called by God to do this or God spoke to me. Have you guys heard somebody say that? Yeah, some of you have. You know what, when I was your age, you know what I would think about? I would think about, hey, how do they know it was God? How do they know it was God speaking? And so I'm going to have a little illustration to show you how you can know it's God speaking when God speaks. Okay, so I'm going to what do you guys think I have in my mom bag? No. No, not the jar. Look, this is what's in the mom bag that wouldn't fit. Miss Hillary, she's going to help us. Surprise. So we'll put this up here. So Hillary, this is what's going to happen, okay? You promise you're going to close your eyes. You are not going to peek, right? Nope. I'm going to give you this microphone. And I have some people that were, Sean has a microphone that are going to help me. And they're going to say, good morning. And we're going to see if Miss Hillary knows who's talking by hearing their voice. All right? Okay, so here's the microphone. Close your eyes. No peeking. <laughs> Good morning. Yep, yep, they can say it again. Good morning. Sounds like Victoria. Ooh, yay, everybody give her a clap. All right. Okay. All right, we have the next person. Good morning. Paul. Nancy. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay, now Hillary, this next one is going to maybe be a little bit difficult, but, but, but we'll see how it goes. Good morning. Mm, can they do it again? One more time. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> I think I know. Oh, I think we stumped her. Okay, you can open your eyes. Right here behind you. So, boys and girls, this is the thing. When you get to know somebody, and the more time you spend with somebody, the more you recognize their voice, right? So, Miss Hillary, I'm going to challenge you to get to know Mr. Wilson here, he's a pretty cool guy. And maybe in a couple months, we'll test her again and see if she recognizes his voice. Okay, so close your eyes one more time. I have, I have one more. And the thing is, boys and girls, I know for me, as I have studied God and I have gotten to know God, you know what's happened to me? I have fallen in love with God. And he is the most important thing in my life. So we have, we have one more for Hillary to guess. Hillary? <laughs> yes? <laughs> Hi. 
You're my best friend. Every day of my life with you has made my life better. My relationship with you has reinforced my belief in God. You're an answer to prayer, and I love praying with you. You're beautiful inside and out. <laughs> and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> Will you marry me? Did, wait, I, I didn't hear an answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, boys and girls, I just want you to remember the more time you spend with God, the more you're going to fall in love with Him too. All right, you can get your bulletin down there and go back to your seats.